Oh ho ho! What a lovely day, ladies and germs, boys and girls. As you guys can see in live HD, it's your host with the most, the Thrift God, Paul Cantu, back at you guys with a brand new trip to the Thrift video. Today we're sifting, digging, seeing what we can find, keep, rock, and flip. But yeah, man, um, join me on yet another one. Another and also, one. I appreciate each and every single comment. You guys stay showing love, and I definitely appreciate it. What's my chain doing? You new Hoosle Berries, man. We're making our first quick stop today at the Salvation Army. Let's get in there and see what we can find. Oh me, oh my, my guys. We're in here in the furniture section, as always, is booming, as are the decorative plates. I would love nothing more than to eat off of Jesus' face. Look at this guy, man. Sweet. Oh my god. Bro, just bonding with the animals. Perfect. <laughs> Bro, what is this? They have like a football helmet with, I guess, some little Tupperware dip trays. You can put salsa and queso in this and have yourself a little party. It's even complete with the stands on the top of the helmet. Bruh, chips all up in here? Oh yes, oh yes. Guys, check it out, man. The accessory section came through. I had to do a double take on this Glock vintage snapback. It says Glock support shooting foundation. Hmm, sounds legit. And then you also have this amazing Car Quest NASCAR tee with the primary color love flame straight up on the side this is amazing number five what's five plus two my guy seven yeah. all right man y'all should already know what the business is we came in we came through and we got some loot give me the loot i know you guys see this on hand right now hands down the best piece my guy nutmeg mills chicago bulls big angry steed nutmeg on the tee made in usa number 23 on the back all trio y'all all trio y'all now check it out we also got a handful of other um aquatic and i guess kind of like tropical heat you have the tommy for your mommy which the homie sean just tossed my way he alley-ooped and i dunked on it three dollars today is half off season um for all you guys who you know couldn't wrap it up one time with the saran wrap it's all good though you got something the world's best dad 3d puff print three dollars half off bj design see if you just stuck to the bj you wouldn't have little tj your kid okay shy medium and then you have the grateful dead new school but still cool of these boys kicking hawaiian down kind of like the tommy shirt and then this i thought it was a nurse scrub but it's just steezing charlotte honets nice kind of charcoal ash color scheme baby yes in the paint brand one dollar today and then last and not least you got the reebok jacket that somebody bleached I don't know if I'm gonna get this. The homie Sean passed it off to me, but it's still fairly decent, fairly decent. Oh wait, no, there's something peeking out. Hold on, man. Big peach color scheme. Look at this, guys. Y'all know what time it is. Fishes always get you hella biatches. And don't forget it. Okay, quick little pit stop, Salvation Army. Already starting off the day right. All right, guys, we're out of there, man. The humidity is brutal, but the finds are beautiful. Oh, my phone. Anyways, um, yeah, if you guys want anything y'all see in this whole video, thrifthavenvintage.com, and I'm popping up this weekend in Houston at ThriftCon. God, the humidity, dude. <laughs> so pull up, show up, show out, show love, do all of that. But the first spot came through. All right, all right, guys, we have just made it to the next spot on the block, which is the Family Thrift Center. You guys know I love my family thrifts. They're opening a new outlet actually in September on Uvalde Street. So if you guys want to pull up to there on Thursdays for $2 everything in store and then it goes down by 25 cents incrementally, then hey, pull up on them. And also shout out the kid that just drove by. He like chunked up the deuce. He's like, I love you, bro. So I don't know your name, bro, but I love you too like my child. You guys know these things to be self-evident. Anyways, man, we're gonna get up in here and see what they got. Family thrift, let's get it. Guys, I'm gonna have to start coming in here with oven mitts, man. Cause the heat is just, oh unreal unreal dude turning up the fire okay the jersey section is scrum diddlyumptious we have about four jerseys and the first one is the show that boy terrell owens to san francisco 49ers jersey dude this is him 
just chugging popcorn like a beverage. This is him grabbing the pom-poms and dancing with the cheerleader. My guy, of course I have to grab this. And also in the NFL department, they have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Brad Johnson jersey. Now you guys might not know big Braddy Johnson, okay? But he actually did bring them a Super Bowl and has as many Super Bowl rings as Aaron Rodgers. Is he as prolific of a quarterback? Definitely not, but he still got there, did the damn thing, and won the dance, bruh. Receivers to the left, spread out along the tree trunk, and the pass is caught by McCardell. Touchdown. This is amazing. Only three dollars. Oh, deals and deals. And then you guys saw in my last video. I said people might be sick and tired of being sick and tired with St. Louis gear, but not I said the fly. Look at this. St. Louis Cardinals, all embroidered jersey, crispy white, and then you have the majestic rendition, two birds, one bat, my favorite adult nature film. Look at that, genuine merchandise. It gets no better. And the price, my guy. Seven! Oh man, guys, Splash Town. You guys know I love the thread count, especially when it's on thigh. Just drawing the attention to the crotchal vicinity. $3 Speedo 90s trunks. They also got the Ralph Lorenz in the bright yellow. Hello, that's fire. Also, $6,000 tee. Shout out my boy Chris, 1980-something co. Bruh, come on, can we get it off? Hell no, nah, bro. New school, but still cool, I surmise. We do have the vintage home run derby. Um, McGuire, just roids just busting out his veins, man, pumping through his system. Down the left field line, is it enough? Go! And then you have the Fender guitar tee, which is super, super cool. The play on Leonardo da Vinci. I love it, man. And it's tree again. Hey, I know some of you lads skip through the button ups. Let me tell you why I don't. Corvette, Corvette, my guy. All embroidered, thread count abundant. Y'all know what time it is. Curvet, curvet. Curvet, curvet. Dude, store low key buzzing. Look at this. How would you describe this colorway, man? It looks like some radioactive mac and cheese. You got the Nike trunks, seven Damn bucks. Y'all know what time it is. And look at the attention to detail on those little, like, uh, shoelaces for the short waisters. That's nice. Yes. Guys. <laughs> Yo, check this out, check this out. I'm in the kids section. I just got too excited. Luca was peeking out at me, man. Oh, right in time for Space Jam. My dude, you got big, thick, and tubby with the duck feet. Ha. Bro, if you guys haven't seen my Tommy for your mommy Space Jam collaboration review, check that video out. But my God, I need this. You got a little wrestler in there too. Man, this is like straight Dollar Tree status, but this dude i need all right guys about to wrap this up then but y'all know i had to stop by the hat section and check it out dude we got a couple of bangers first and foremost you got the deer hunter vintage hat again radioactive this is more like a cheeto color scheme to who dollars made in usa need that one big bold embroidery but even bolder not vintage obviously the year is right there front and center 2003 indy 500 look at the thread count, multicolored paneling, got the little cherry on top with the button. This thing is butamous and it's new with tags originally 22 bucks. Absolutely fire. On a pony she named Wildfire. All right guys, and here we are, here we are, the next spot. Prime parking, family thrift outlet. This is what I'm talking about on Hillcroft. So they have a bunch of outlets in Houston, and uh, this is the price breakdown, man. So the new one on Uvalde Street, two dollar buck seventy five, buck fifty bucks twenty five, one dollar fifty cents, and twenty five cents. Now it's two dollar day up in here, so we about to go crazy and see what they got. And first and foremost, you guys know, fishes get you hella biatches. You have the Madison Marlins, Houston exclusive, okay? H Town Oilers color scheme, and then look at that side embroidery and ribboning that is absolutely wild hold on wait hold on we going car hard crazy hold on please don't be something else don't be something else what is this walls blizzard proof no that's not even how you spell proof what is this Trippy. okay what is going on though 
literally right behind that you have another full tracksuit this is a vintage nike white tag looking like a basketball jersey heavily perforated and uh oh the big n on the back with the check that's fly slight little uh mustard drizzle on the front of the crotch that's allegedly mustard could be schmegma we don't really know but hey Two. Bro, I'm really out here gold digging, daddy. Check it out, Owens in one spot. And then you have this nice little golden San Francisco 49ers nugget by Nutmeg Mills. Oh my God, dude. I've seen the Mickey golf polos, but you have the mini two for the ladies. Hey, shout out the lamb that went bald for this baddie right here. Look at this Levi's lamb fur interior denim little vest. Oh, and it's an orange tab. That's super nice. Made, hold on, Lishy, Lishy. Made in USA. We got a twofer, and I like these two little things right here, all right? Number one, I'm sprung. Might have to take a trip to the gentleman's room and relieve myself, weigh some of my children, but it'll be worth it. You got the Mickey's Fayville, North Carolina Stroop Club tee, what I assume, and the County Line Dancers, all right? Sway. Hey, if you ain't first, you last. But luckily, I'm racing towards the finish line and something divine. Look at all these blessings. Mountain Dew, Heat, National Guard, all of them are junior, baby. Wow. Oh, good God almighty. We have a home dinger and a blessing. You guys, I gotta hit it one time. <sighs> yes, my dude. Houston Rockets, vintage, <laughs> 1994 t-shirt. Bruh, that is amazing you know what's crazy is in 94 they didn't even have these logos they like knew they were going to unveil the new logos and then they had them ready to go and the shirt's ready bro that's smart that's thinking ahead that's called planning in advance something i definitely could get accustomed to doing myself that's so sick oh yeah then you got the little texans piece eh they're trash oh my god guys i just found one i just pulled one <sighs> took my breath away man felt like i had asthma for a second check this out Bruh, three and 93. You have the Chicago Bulls, 1993. The first three-peat t-shirt. Oh my gosh, in a black color scheme too. That is so crispy. It's my size XL, it's the year of my birth, 93. Holy Toledo. This kind of ties in the whole episode, man, because we started off with the nutmeg piece, Chicago Bulls. And now we found yet another one. Another one. Oh my God. This is just so beautiful. Made in USA. I'd expect nothing less than the vest. Shout out the Bulls, man. What happened since Jordan left? Nothing. This is why I love coming to the thrift. Say you just drop bands on the Chunky Monkeys. Then you can buy a little $2 t-shirt to perfectly match the kicks with Ben and Jerry's merch. Oh, Icy? Oh, with the little back neck hit. Okay, so the screen printing on this shirt looks so clean. I thought it had to be new. 105.1, but this is on a softy tag, so this is 80s for show. Wow, super clean. Nothing on the back except the clown who I guess had a hole in his mouth from smoking the shigar. Just such a cool graphic, so old, hell yeah. All right guys, we're in the next spot. Dude, check out this tee. The bestiality is prolific. You got the ay caramba. Dude, the matador is about to get stabbed up by this bull. Red flag. Hold on. So, Yo, this graphic is something out of fiction. Oh, stroke my, my cactus. cactus. It's lit. Dude, it's so artistic. Look at that, man. Pain's beefy, baby. Real beefy. Dude, rail graphing season. Straight up. Look at this wall. I feel like I'm in Guantanamo Bay, bruh. But no, seriously, check this out. You have the Spuds McKenzie Party Animal Tee, the dog on the shirt board. Boy, I've been putting in some time in the gym. Oh man, this dude has done a lot since Toy Story. Straight up, single stitch in the Hawaiian button up. Shout out, Bud Light one time. Bruh, Onita, pre-shrunk, made in USA. Amen to that, brother. <laughs> oh my goodness, bruh. Then backdoor those finds with these. You got the Tommy for your mommy 1996 patched out button up, right? And then the Kuji and the Kente cloth colorway, bruh. Straight Jamaican. Look at that, bruh. He'll figure it way down the front, too. 
slash medium. Dude, right in time. I'm about to do a pop-up in Columbus, Ohio, and you have the neighbor next door, the Cincinnati Reds Vintage 1990 World Series Champions, size extra large logo, siete. All right, this is just insane at this point. You have two more. This is the theme of the day. Every store has some Chicago Bulls gear. It says Incredibles. And why is he so angry with the Frito Kahlo unibrow? Nobody knows, but I'm not mad at the Salem Sportswear Vintage Tee. This thing is amazing. All right, I live for this right here, man. Check out the Jesus Christ swag. It says, let Jesus be first in our heart, in our thoughts in our goals, in our talk, in our work. And you got Jesus Christ just tossing up the dove. Ah, that boy low-key looking like a caveman. Straight Geico advertisement. This is so fire. I need it. Onita, God save me. Right in time, you got the Pfizer sponsorship. Oh, on the Mark Martin NASCAR jacket. I swear he used to be sponsored by Viagra. Like, come on, man. I was expecting to see big old Viagra, but instead I see the COVID, the COVID vaccine sponsorship on the checkered flag and NASCAR jacket. They wild. All right, I don't know what the deal is for real, but check out this tee. This is another one that deceives you. All right, it looks super new, super clean, but upon a closer inspection, you see it's a 1982 phone home et t with the three quarter sleeve my god a little bit of mucus residue right there holy toledo this shirt goes absolutely crazy stony creek on the tag single stitch on the enclosures y'all know what it is that man is sagging and we are officially back ladies and germs my goodness dude we hit a bunch of stores and found a bunch of scores. Now, just to give you guys a rough price estimate of the value of these items, I mean, just the bull shirts alone. Let's just say this one's a quick 50. Quick 50, 100. Quick 50, 150. Quick 50, 200. And then the ET phone home tee alone is probably minimally worth $150 at least, all right? So I couldn't find this exact shirt listed anywhere, but I have seen one did sell, but I couldn't see the price for it because it sold such a long time ago, the listing was deleted, but this is an insane grab, and the Spuds McKenzie shirt is probably another 50 to 60 bucks. So right there, guys, we have about $400 worth of t-shirts just with like five tees alone, so that's a blessing. Speaking of which, man, if you guys want to grab any of this gear, it's going to be at my pop-up at ThriftCon in Houston. All the info is linked in the video description. If you guys live in Houston or the surrounding area, pull up. Then the next weekend, I will be in Ohio and Columbus. So all the info for both the pop-ups is in the video description. So check those out if you guys want to pull up. And then there still are drops on the website, thriftheavenvintage.com. I know I'm plugging a lot of things, but a lot of you guys ask about the items. I have been stockpiling items for the pop-ups. So I am sorry if you guys are not in Houston and are not going to be in Columbus. But in the meantime, a lot of gear is still hitting the website. So please just bear with me. Be patient. I'm sorry. It's just a lot to manage with the videos, the website, the pop-ups. There's a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, if you guys miss me in the meantime, check out my second channel, Paul Plan 2. You guys know we're always doing things out here. And until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream. I'll catch y'all soon. Peace. Sleeping a bloody life, I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.